Okay, so you're, um, in the case where you have a fraction out in front, you're going to want to multiply. You can divide by a fourth, but that's kind of hard. So if you can multiply by the reciprocal, you're multiplying by 4 over 1. Multiply both sides by 4 over 1. It cancels that fraction, and we're left with a 12 on this side. Okay, when you have, and I'll write it out, x minus 1, absolute value, less than or equal to 12, you're going to need to split this into two different directions. Okay, one of them is going to be as you see it, x minus 1 is less than or equal to 12, but x minus 1 should also be greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay, it's important that we see when you change that to a negative, you switch the arrow. Okay, you add 1 to both sides, so x is less than or equal to 13, add 1 to both sides, x is greater than or equal to negative 11. So, you got a negative 11, which is on this side, you got a positive 13, which is on that side. The or equal to means include a solid dot, include that point. And if it's greater than negative 11, it's going to be traveling that away. If it's less than 13, it's going to be traveling that way. Okay. One thing also, and the reason I'll do this one is because there's another, you've got to consider your negative out in front and what that does to an arrow. You're going to start by subtracting 3 from both sides. That gives you negative 10. Okay. But then, you're going to divide by a negative 2. That goes away. You divide that by negative 2. But what happens when you divide by a negative is that arrow turns around. So let's, let's summarize what we have so far. I've got an x plus 3, absolute value. That arrow just turned around because I divided by a negative. Negative 10 divided by negative 2, positive 5. So a lot of things drastically change there. Now we can split it. x plus 3 is less than 5. x plus 3 is greater than negative 5. Subtract the 3, uh, subtract the 3. Okay, we ended up with a similar situation in that we've got a negative 8 down here, a positive 2 up here. We're going less than 2, but greater than negative 8. Open circles in both cases, less than 2, greater than negative 8. It looks the same except for the open circles. You know, every once in a while the arrow is going to point away from it. In fact, all these, I think. Uh, if you haven't done that one yet, all of them are going to be arrows pointing inward.